Hey guys, it's Nukic again. Just uh, gonna show you a little bit of knowledge about how you can use MIDI effects to really create some great sounding melodies without having to have any ideas. So here we have a synth, and I just have a, a regular kind of synth. Uh, it's called Dance Bass 3, and it's just a nice little lead that will sound, has a, like a quick attack and quick release, so it'll be easy to our, um, make sound nice when we arpeggiate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the live devices, we're going to go to the MIDI effects, and we're going to do a MIDI effect rack and put that on the channel with your, um, with your plugin. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to first add a chord and an arpeggiator. And then I'll add, first thing you'll hear is the gate effect. So that's just one note with a gate effect on it. So if you add, uh, if I change the, the notes in the chord, And then, so it's just playing those uh, those four notes, which is the C, the uh, you know, and then the chord around the C, which is one note lower, two notes above, and six notes above. And then um, what we're gonna do is change the rate to about one half, and then change the gate. So I'm just changing these presets so you can hear what the effect that the gate parameter has. So the notes will last longer if you turn up the gate and they'll last shorter if you turn down the gate. Now, I have a nice little progression here. I'm going to change back to the other preset that I had been using, which was called Space 3. Now what I'm going to do is add another chord, another arpeggiator on top of it. So now we're really getting some uh, different kind of sound there. And the reason that the, this arpeggiation stops stopping at 77% because that is the gate of this one, so stuff like that. And then, um, okay, so what do we want to do next? I'm going to turn those off just to show you what we can do using, using something called a velocity. And what you can do with that is you can gate MIDI notes so that you can specify one note, like let's say this is um, also minus one, well, no, we're going to say this is like plus 12 or something, but then we're going to change the velocity down to 0 0.007, and then what we can do is select this mode to gate, and then change the range to like 65, as long as it's above like 0 0.07, you're pretty much good, but I'm just going to set it to that, and um, then, why don't you hear anything different? Well, that's because we need to change the mode to where it'll actually play that note, so. So as you can see, now that I've added that gate, there's a nice little space right there where there's no note, so it gives it sort of a different rhythmic feel. And if I turn it to 1-4, you'll see. So you can hear it a little better right there. So 
So there you go. And then, of course, you can do a pitch effect, which I usually like to throw on mine, just so you can control the octave. And then you can do other crazy things, like if you change this to like four or something, it's not necessarily going to be in the same scale. It might sound a little weird, but then what you can do in order to make that fit into a scale is you can throw on a scale effect and set it to one of the presets, like C major. these and see what you get. So there's some ideas for you. You can get started with uh, making your own melodies from scratch, even if you have no musical talent or any idea what you're doing, as long as you can follow the couple simple steps and just experiment, and as long as you know what you like. Yeah, pretty weird, right? See, I've just kind of drawn a strange picture into this chord thing, and I get kind of an interesting sound. And if there's like one note in there and it doesn't sound right, you just move it around. But I really don't hear anything that sounds too bad, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I've got my own little uh, own melody that came out of nothing, really. So I can use that in a project, export it. I can drag all these um, MIDI effects into this uh, kind of block save that and just say like this entire block is a melody and now you can have a way to save these melodies as, as uh, MIDI effect tracks and then they'll be accessible at any pitch because any note that you play for instance if I go down here and change it to B it's gonna have a B as a root note instead So the other thing you can do is move the pitch to the end of the chain. So instead of having uh, instead of having the this be the final say on what the notes come out, you can actually transpose it to anything you want using the pitch. And then of course you can all add all sorts of effects on here. If I really want a pad, I can add a reverb like that resonators all right well anyway that pretty much concludes my tutorial it's like ran kind of long but i wanted to show all the different ways you can affect midi notes without having really to know anything about music